All right. Let's, uh... All right. What's up, YouTube? And this is a little something different. I was on stream, and I was going to show stream everything, but I guess I'll bring y'all along, too. And I wanted to make this video because I just made a video a couple weeks talking about how much I love the Steam Deck, right? It's my baby. Hold on, let's grab it. My baby. My Steam Deck. It's here. I love it. It's my favorite fucking. Like this is the best. This is like I'm so happy I bought this. Right? I'm so happy. I bought this, but I, but I feel like <laughs> I'm cheating on this because last weekend, damn, my head said okay. Right, hold on. Last weekend. Last weekend, damn. Can I get this shit? All right, All right. Last weekend, I bought the fucking ROG Ally. Granted, it is one of the eBay. Uh, it's the open box ones, but I got the box and everything. So I was like, I got everything but the damn. Uh, everything but the stand, which the stand is made out of plastic, but. It is what it is. So, with that being said, alright, I have it. But hear me out. Hear me out. The reason I got it first off, I got a, a fire ass deal on it. So, like, uh, I got a fire ass deal. I had to do it. Okay, so, uh, the reason why i was thinking about getting what i was thinking about getting the msi claw the it looks basically looks like this but it's black because it had the intel chip and i was looking into that and you know everything's windows based and stuff and the people that is on the stream like my, my streaming folks know that i love to play destiny destiny is my heart and soul I love this and I get all the rage jacket everything and so what can I not play on the steam deck destiny why can't you play destiny on it because of the anti-cheat so with that though guess what you can't play on this the fucking destiny 2 destiny, destiny 2 you can play this you I was gonna play I was gonna say the fucking RG ally can play Destiny 2. Anyway, you can on here. And I am not upset with my purchase. Uh, I actually thoroughly enjoy this. It feels amazing. And it doesn't take away from the Steam Deck. Like I don't not want to play my Steam Deck anymore. If anything, it makes me want to play it more. But now I got the best of both worlds and when I travel now, this could I could stream and do everything on here because it's a Windows tablet basically. You know, I, I got my I got my own I got my own um, new tablet to do computer stuff or whatever. But now I can just download the streaming software that I use on my main computer on here now and get it cracking so with that being said it, it relieves a lot of stress of packing up my laptop and stuff but also i forgot how many games i get through like um amazon prime like amazon games and stuff like that like i just it's so much shit it's so many games like bro if y'all understood how many games i got digitally just through different services and subscriptions and stuff i don't have the subscription but like i have a lot of gaming service because like i have a lot of like subscription stuff and they just give me free shit over time and so like uh there's so many games that i have on pc and that's what made me get like a, that's one of the reasons what made me get a gaming pc is because i just wanted to just get into that world you know what i'm saying like i love my ps5 and stuff but you know 
it's just a whole nother world on PC. And now with the Steam Deck, I love taking stuff with me portable. And then when I'm hanging out with somebody, we can cut on the couch and guess what I can still play now? You goddamn right. Steam, bro, listen. Bro. Playing all my Final Fantasy on this bitch, I was just in love. Like, I'm a big Final Fantasy dude. And so when I'll be playing Final Fantasy 13 on here, bro. I can be booed up with your bitch playing Final Fantasy, bro. And I don't think y'all really understand how amazing these little devices come in handy when you kicking it with a female. Bro, when you kicking it with your girl and she want to cuddle, but all you can think about is that new game you just bought. Now you got the best of both worlds, bro. And I'm trying to put you on sauce right now. So my main game i don't even even if final shape is the last expansion and it's coming out guess what i still got this and guess what else i can play now kingdom hearts is only on epic games and now i can go buy kingdom hearts for this and be golden and guess what i don't every time i sit at my desk bro i'm either streaming with y'all or playing on my playstation 5 guess what i can do now because i got a series x i can play all my games series x because i didn't know most of them have a pc copy and and i just bought fucking uh starfield guess what's on here i'm finna go get the whole starfield thing and make this like my damn portable xbox basically i'm in love bro and to my homie you know who you are i wasn't hating when you got it i was just like bro why did you get the steam deck it was easier but i understand and all you people was on the rlg ally uh bandwagon i understand bro i understand like the benefits of having both and that's what i was getting to like oh that's nothing so like um don't let these pc negroes make you feel like you have to spend the money on the z1 extreme this is the regular z1 bro and i play everything that i want perfectly fine on this on this like and that's one thing i've been learning since i've been doing this this handheld um uh, since i've been on my handheld journey i've been learning that pc negroes are elitist crybabies and i'm gonna just and i uh, i'm listen bro i've been in the pc world since 2020 y'all are fucking crybabies bro there's no reason to want the stuff y'all want when these devices are perfectly capable anything over 60 fps your eye can't bro i get anything over 90 fps 96 fps biologically your eyes cannot tell a difference after that i give you 120 for some of y'all especially if you wear glasses like i wear glasses so i can see a minor difference between 90 and 120 but other than that your eyes can't tell anything different so when you get on a smaller screen why do you need it to play above 40 i give you 45 fps because some game come from some games you know especially if you're playing like a fighting or a shooter game i understand wanting that at, at um 60 fps i can give you that but these are portable systems bro like this is the 64 gig and this is the one thing about me bro i'm not sponsored i i pray to god one day i get sponsored by alienware or or valve or fucking rlg like my keyboard is uh, uh is made by uh rlg so like oh if i can get in the tech world through uh if i can get a sponsorship to the tech oh my god i'm gonna cry or sony bro if i get sponsored by sony. anyway i'm going off the of anyway what i was getting at is y'all be crying for no reason like when if i understand some games they're not tailored for 30 fps but a lot of companies are going back to tailoring games for 30 fps so it won't look because the graphics are too good now for it not to fluidly play like when, when we was in the ps3 era like yes they would shoot for 30 fps but a lot of that was janky and stuff trying to do 1080p and 30 i get that but the ps4 ever since the ps4 ever everybody wants 60 fps and shit like that and even now on the ps5 you you can get 60 fps just fine you know what i'm saying 
if you run it at 1080p but one in 4k 60 and all this extra stuff like bro y'all are just crybabies and i understand like um you know you want the ray trace and everything look good but like you want quality or, or you want quantity you know what i'm saying and so like for me if the prettier look i know 30 fps like anything under 30 fps is is not it you know what i'm saying and so like i don't complain about playing at 30 fps so like i say that to get at i got the base rg ally and i've heard so many bad things about this one and i'm just like why like it makes no sense two the amount of money that this was charged at, i would have never bought this full price never i won't buy it. none of none of that shit full price this is 64 gig and i'm a little upset that the 256 gig is the price that the 64 gig used to be but i got bro you know how cheap as uh micro sd cards are now bro just go buy one bro like and then valve made it super easy to put a new uh ssd in here it's just right there at the top but me i don't like unscrewing my shit and, and, and damaging anything you know not saying that i can't because I, I work on my computers and stuff all the time or systems all the time like i i fixed that xbox 360 took it apart and everything but i say all this to say that like pc bros don't let pc gamers um make you feel like that you need 60 fps and all this extra stuff it's nice but when stuff is on these little screens it don't matter and if you want a gaming pc and it can get you at um 30 to 60 fps just fine ultra settings bro don't feel like you you missing out now when you get to like 4k and stuff like that i understand you wanted to run at a stable 4k 60 but even still like that's gonna come with some some hindrance and it's just like a lot of pc gamers i realize they want a, a solid 4k 60 ray trace and all this stuff that's gonna come with some horsepower and so you want a handheld to run 1080 a screen to be at 1080p and you want to run a solid 60 fps and have good battery life when that takes so much to run on a laptop like if you take your laptop and run a game at 1080p 60 fps it's gonna get hot and so when they be when they i used to see videos of them talking shit about this and that's what and that's another reason they like kind of steered me away from looking at anything else besides the steam deck because i like simplicity and so when i seen the steam deck you know i'm i'm a pc gamer and i'm i'm a i'm a very smart dude when it comes to like tech and stuff like that I'm not saying i can't figure shit out you know but like sometimes you just want to be able to turn your game on and it just work and with the steam deck a lot of people used to get upset that like games wasn't verified and stuff and they didn't know they wanted to pick it up when i found out with the steam games if it has a console layout like if it's made for consoles and stuff even if the game is like in japan only and it's a console game but if they port it on steam you good to go on here baby like bro i got so many jrpgs and japanese games that are only for japan that they ported on steam and they're not verified and i play the fuck out of them on here and i got all my i got a, a little sd card uh carrier and i would just i'd be i wait till like an sd card sale buy that bitch load my games up and i just swap them out like fucking uh uh switch cartridges you know what i'm saying and so i love this device i love both of them and i'm gonna get a skin and pimp even though i love the white i may leave it basic no i'm gonna get a skin and pimp it i don't want it to feel left out but uh people that's on a budget this video is for you don't feel like you have to shell out the money and fucking um i think uh best buy still has a deal right now all things that are open box clearance or um something else is 20 percent off not 20 percent off 50 percent off 
And so let me go real let me check Best Buy Live real quick. I ain't got no script for these videos. I'm going off a whim. And uh what is Yeah. Limited time outlet event. 50% off. Save up to 50% off on clearance, open the box, open box, and refurbished items online and in store. And guess what? The RLG Ally, my friends, you can get them open box. And what I found out is that a lot of the Z1 regular were open box because either A, they were display units, or people would the the uh tech nerds as i should say will buy these and not like it and return it like this one was basically brand new and i even got a a super deal because i had my destiny jacket on that day and i was buying my dad a new alien where like he got the newest version of my computer i'm so jealous like i am a 40 20 he don't even know what the fuck that is but he, we needed it for our club that we're opening up and um and eventually I can DJ on that. I can use that computer to DJ on it too. But uh, uh, we needed to run all the screens and stuff we got in there. So like, I know my computer's capable of when I'm streaming and I run into issues, but I have a 2020 model with a 1660 and you know, with an i7. So I needed to like get him right. Cause he's running like two, 100 foot screens a 150 inch projector screen and a monitor next to the dj booth on top of continuously having like he need music to be played on it and dj with it and all this extra stuff it's gotta it's gotta do a lot so and i'm right but while i was in there i was like i wonder if these motherfuckers are finally at a decent price and so i got it i'm gonna just say me and the girl was talking she was cool people and uh she sold it she said that we had an open box one and she could get it she could start off at 2.99 but what i did know that the the 50 percent off sale was going on and she gave me another discount she looked out so like um I'm not gonna tell you uh, i'm in alabama but i'm not gonna tell you where i don't want her to get fired but uh she definitely looked the fuck out and i got this for like one six like so it was 3.99 with tax and everything was 360 but she i saved 212 dollars on it all together so 360 minus 212 that's one no one I'm gonna tell you the exact price. Let me get it real quick. Let me get that down real quick. One forty eight. I spent $148 on this. And so I'm not saying that you're probably gonna get my dip because I got the gift of the, you know, get to the gap. But cheap fellas like me go just go ask and, and see what you can get nine out of ten and if you want the z1 a lot of employees are cool people bro like you know what i'm saying especially if you got something in common with them they're probably look out bro and because like nobody's buying the z1s everybody wants the extremes like the extremes sell out like this the the z1s are just sitting in there bro and they only had uh i want to say they only had two no this is the only one the only z1 in there and it was in there she said it was in there for months like nobody wanted it they wanted the extreme and so i say this all and i'm gonna end it on this note don't feel like you gotta get the best of the best when they do the same thing because if you go look on benchmarks test yes the z1 extreme is up there but like in everyday usage with you know battery life and stuff because the z1 doesn't need because the z1 is the z1 and it doesn't need that extra mm, oomph to get everything done you know what i'm saying like um you may get better 
I don't know. Just, I, just everyday tests that I've seen and what I've seen online and stuff. The, they don't get a Z1 credit enough. Like, bro, I sat, I sat in my girl's bed playing Destiny for like five hours, and I went, I went off the charger for like an hour and a half on the Z1 playing Destiny 2. Yeah, like I was, I was, I was running like all my fucking, and this was day one. You know what I'm saying? So like. The Z1 is the Z1 is working. It can run everything you want it to, bro. If this bitch was running, and then um, I was playing um, Starfield last night, Golden, bro, Golden. So it's just like, don't feel like just because it's not the best one, it ain't gonna do is do justice. You know what I'm saying? And I got the 512 gigabyte plenty of storage. It actually got more storage than my damn Steam Deck. You know what I'm saying? But I got uh like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I got eight, nine memory cards, nine S, uh, micro SD cards for my Steam Deck, and um, people, people wanted the five twelve gigabyte Steam Deck just because it was the five twelve. They didn't. People snooze on the sixty four gig. I got my sixty four gig so quick when I uh, bought it instantly bro and that's why they phasing it out like they didn't sell them and like people like me bought them and then i know one of the um one of my friends online he bought a 64 gig and put a one terabyte sd card in his uh steam deck and this is before the oled and now with the oled even now like they're keeping a 256 gig and selling it at the same price as the 64 gig i'm not even upset that they uh phasing it out you know what I'm saying? I wish they would have kept it, but like they didn't sell people about the 256 gig, and now you can get open box, um, return 64 gig uh, Steam decks with uh, or open box return uh, 256 gig Steam deck. Either one of them is perfect, bro. Like, don't think you need, you know what I'm saying, the best of the best to get in the PC game. And if you want simplicity, get the Steam Deck. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're like you're a big Call of Duty fan or Destiny fan. But I love both. And I'm so thankful that I was able to get this. Like, um Like it was so cheap that like when I bought the computer and everything all together, like the price was even no different than when I was already ready to spend for the computer that I was so shook at like how much she took off and i was ready to spend like the 360 and stuff on it like that was cheap enough for i was like all right i'll give it a try and then like they got the good return policy but like bro if you just want if you travel a lot like me and you want your games to go and like i'm in, i'm in the steam ecosystem heavy you know what i'm saying but now with the rg ally like kingdom hearts bro man i'm man i'm gonna buy kingdom hearts so quick uh this friday bro man it's gonna be bro it's up bro i'm excited bro and they gave and she gave me like the uh um, the xbox game pass uh what was it the one month uh subscription for ultimate and shit so i'm gonna enjoy this bro but uh i'm gonna end it but don't feel like you you need um the z1 extreme i just came on here to say that like um i don't know i don't know what it is about pc gamers and needing like so much compute numbers and all this heebie-jeebies about the numbers and stuff bro when when i look at them crazy because they'll play this they'll play the switch and be happy with zelda and never complain yes it's the ones that do complain and want to switch to we get that we know that but they'll play zelda happily on the switch but then get on the steam they can complain you know what i'm saying about the screen or something when the switch screen was worse than the steam deck screen you know what i'm saying and then they may they get the switch oled you know the switch oled do its thing but it ain't no different it's just the oled screen at least Val, when they released this the steam deck oled they changed a lot of shit inside you know what i'm saying and like both of these feel good in your hands like I love the Steam Deck more, you know what I'm saying? Holding it just because of the curvature and the grips of it and just how it feels 
I don't know, I may just be used to it, but like this thing that feels amazing to hold. RG Ally does too, but I feel like this, I feel more of the switch when I hold this, but the screen on here is the 1080p screen and it's another thing about the rg i love that like as i was like um you know the more i spent time with it like the day to day you know on here you have to make like certain things to app like i got apple music there's no apple music app and that's one thing i wish val would do is like port all these apps to the to the to steam and so we can have it natively on the steam or with a real working store you know what i'm saying not the web browser you know what i'm saying so but on the windows and stuff you know they have the windows app store and so like i was like oh netflix let me download netflix oh see crunchyroll and i'm just thinking about all these apps now that i can take with me and i have i still have my i still have my apple music stuff on here cheese sock and all that stuff but it's all native on here because it's windows and i was like oh shit i could download i download the ps plus uh streaming app now i can play my fucking games on playstation on here on the go and then i had and what's crazy i got a pre-order for the playstation portal and it's and i and i i still may get it i don't know i'm decided i don't know i, don't, I haven't canceled it yet i'm still deciding but at the same time i'm just like bro like I could do it all on here now and I can stream it and stuff when I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? And because this is native Windows, it just works flawlessly. All you gotta do is download it. And then like my fucking Final Fantasy 14. Uh I got I got the native I got the, the PC. It's not through Steam or anything. I have the native Final Fantasy 14 MMO game from from the Square Enix store and I downloaded that last night and I'm just like fucking ecstatic cause I have all this shit on the go it's like this completed my on the go uh but it completed my on the go lifestyle that I'm like building up for and so like when I'm here you know I ain't gotta pack my computer and stuff no more I can download my streaming software on the ROG and I already got the um Steam Deck. I bought the um the JSOX Steam Deck uh docking and stuff and it, everything mostly with the ROG Ally. Even better because it's a Windows PC, so when I plug it up to all that, it just it just works. So don't feel like you have to get the best of the best. Uh, when they, like the z1 extreme don't feel like you got to get that if you're on a budget and all that bro like get you this i'm gonna end the video here because i'm gonna keep going on because like these computer nerds they did they, they make you feel like you have to fucking get like the the one terabyte or the fucking z1 extreme chip and all this stuff but you don't and they run flawless and they're gonna play whatever game you want to perfectly like i haven't had no problem peace out